Right, we've kind of gone back to square one, guys. Once again, I'm a courier. Well, let's head to McCarran and deliver this message. Anything in the mailbox? Move. Not drinking soda, I find an impost box. I have some standards. Okay, McCarran, McCarran. Wait a second. Oh. I turned my auto map on the wrong direction. Silly me. What? Don't look at me like that. It happened to anybody. You're both such pessimists, you know that? Oh, hello. Who are you? You hear there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? Some people got killed or something. Oh yeah, I uh, no idea how that happened. Ah. Uh. Oh yes, you were fighting the fiends. I'm guessing they were shooting at you. Come on, hopefully somebody deals with them at some point. building over there. Scout it out, it's always good to have something put on the map. And at least if I'm travelling somewhere I know which way I can go. Ah, you never know. NCR. You never know where people have us go. Pumping station. Let's pop in anybody here. I was going to say, it doesn't sound like too thrilling of a location. No oh, terminal. Hmm. Let's repair it. Appears to be slightly broken. Sierra Madre. Hmm. Okay, well there's... Nothing really here. It is... Just as the name says on the tin, it's a pumping station. Even these lockers are empty. Oh. Um, moving swiftly on. Never mind about that. Oh my god, who's in this direction? You know, pre-war Vegas mustn't have been that well developed. If you think about it, it's only got Strip and Freeside, that's like... What, maximum you can house there? Or maybe like... 20,000? And these outskirts don't appear to have much residential around them. Unless this was like one of the bits that houses nuke defense turrets missed and all the res residential sections have been obliterated. Uh, this must be the famous Camp McCarran monorail line. 
probably just should have taken a monorail into New Vegas. I've done enough good turns for the NCR, surely by now they would be yeah, alright with us hitching a little ride on the monorail. You know, I'll even pay a ticket. Eddie gets to go for free though, I'm sure that's alright. What's this? Some kind of armoured structure. Yes, I know the entrance to McCarran's just over there, but I'm curious. Has to be something. It's like old pre war offices. And if to this well defended, they have to be important pre war offices. Bingo. Aerotech. Awesome, let's check them out. It's, uh... Nice. I guess. As far as shitholes go. Oh. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men. Welcome, brother. How can I help you? Hello. What do you do here? I give what aid and comfort I can. I have medical knowledge thanks to my time with the followers. Oh, that's very noble. I only do what I can to help. So, how do you deal with all these refugees? Poor lost souls, most of them. They thought to come to New Vegas and find their fortunes on its shining strip. But the journey is often long, and the price to enter the city is steep. Those who could not pay ended up here, hoping to earn the caps they need. Some find honest labor, but more fritter away what little they've saved on crooked gambling and cheap liquor. Still, I minister to them as I can. Oh well, you're a nice man. Farewell. Hi. I've never seen a robot like that before. No, nope, never have I. NCR Rangers deserve all my praise. Something I can help you with, stranger. Who are you? Captain Parker. I'm in charge of this camp. What exactly is this place? This here's where folks go when their luck runs out. Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Sounds chaotic. Any help needed? Well, I am a little short-staffed. Maybe you could give me a hand. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. Tell me about Keith. Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. Hmm. Tell me about disappearances again. Some people again. have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just... up and left. I remember hearing some of the missing folks were doing business with Dermot and St. James. A couple of scavengers from Westside. Okay, I'll look into that too. Glad to hear it. No problem. See ya. See ya. Oops, I, I think we've actually woken everybody up. That was kind of dickish of us. Come on. Well, let's go piss off Keith. Come on, chaps, we're playing Narc.
No, I'm assuming that's the shack. This is the only one that's not boarded up. I mean, like, it's a refugee camp. I'm not expecting anything of any value to be left in here, but somebody could clear up all the tin cans. Let me see. What do we have in here? Ah. Cards. Some of them are marked. Well, if Keith's too stupid to leave his bloody marked cards lying around. Shotgun fixer, 20 gauge, or fixer. I'm glad to see you. Oh, thank you. And, um, very fun to see. Aha. Uh -huh. Jet. And buff out. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? I'm going to guess there is some dealing of drugs in here. Hey! You got a hit for me? Oh, fuck off. Are you Keith? We may have to shoot you. Hey there! Fancy a game of caravan? I've run some cons in my day. You're one clever bastard to another. What's your trick? You know how they say you make your own luck? Well, let's just say I make mine with a little extra ink on the cards. Mark cards. They're obvious, but not bad. Hey, it's not like I use them all the time. Mostly I keep them in my shack until I see a really fat score roll into town. Who are you, anyway? Name's Keith. You feeling lucky? I got games of chance, games of skill, games of you name it. Wanna win a little cash? I'll fat pass for now. Your law? Hang on, let's see if we can, uh... I'll read that article. Salesman Weekly. Hopefully it should tell me everything I want to know. Hey there. Fancy Gambling's not my scene. Maybe you could hook me up with something medicinal. Oh, I get you. Looking for a slightly more chemical thrill? Okay, I'll tell you what. I happen to keep some jet around for emergencies. Uh, Thirty-five caps and it's yours. I'll take it. And here you Thank you very much. All right. That was easy. Gentlemen, we've officially knocked. I've heard that elite units are on the way Let to support me see. Our armies Captain here. Parker, where are you? Here we go. Have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? No, but I'll, uh... Have you found out what happened to... Okay. I guess we have to find out about the refugees first. That's what he's mostly interested in. I 
I guess finding missing refugees is a noble quest. Something that befits gentlemen of our calibre. Alright, now all we need to do is make our way to McCarran, which is right here. Oh, what's that? Must be the back end of the Ultralux. Creepy fuckers. Hope to god that went through one of her windows. Do you reckon we're famous enough yet to be sponsored to join their exclusive club? Ah, caravan. Nice. Seems that their Brahmin's having a little trouble. There we go, the famous New Vegas sign. Welcome to fabulous New Vegas. Would you use the term fabulous? I'm not sure I would, but close enough, I guess. Hello. Hey. Glad you're with us. Hmm. Well, I guess I want me enough to let me wander around their military encampments. See? Boone and you're happy. Well, the, the Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before. Yeah, everything any, the only thing anybody's ever talking about is these goddamn Ranger veterans. Hey, who are you? Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Um, why does Dotri owe you caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? I take it everything. Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. So you famous or something? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. I'm not from Guess around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. I'd go for the glory, personally. How long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. You worked a few trades, then? Oh, yeah. A lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least ten, twelve hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. Yeah, I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. So, what are you gonna do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cast from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. Uh, that sounds great. Why do you quit anyway? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money, but it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, 
I could have taken him. But with this guy, might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. Nah, we all are. See ya. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Okay. He was a bit... off. Not one for hard work. Okay. Oh, cool. Who the hell puts a gambling machines in an airport? Oh yeah, Vegas. Wow. All this pre-war stuff. Didn't we kill him? Hmm. So who am I supposed to give this damn invoice to? Oh wow. Power Patrolling armor. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. More power armor. That must be the monorail. Morning. Morning. Hello there. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Um... No, actually, I have an invoice for you. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Um, got a few questions. Oh? What might those be? What's the OSI? The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expensive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Oh, trust me, you already Suffice are. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You said you were director of the OSI? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> oh, no. not. I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. There's a food shortage? Not yet. But our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Oh, that's bad. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. Well, shit the bed. So, you're doing this all by yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. What other responsibilities do you have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Uh, do you control the dam from here? Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I did get a... Our efforts at Helios 1 held a great deal of promise, until some drifter blew in from the waste and managed to reroute the power. As to where the power is going, who knows? Can you imagine? A drifter outsmarting professional scientists. Uh, only in New Vegas. Oh, That's yeah. the trouble with this wasteland. Too many damned variables. No one can account for them all. Yeah, no idea how that happened. No idea at all. That damn drifter. Um, so what do you think the NCR chances are like? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. Okay. 
Oh. We still need a contractor on our Vault 22 project. Interested? Yeah, fuck it. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Wait, releasing what? Vault 22. Where to begin? Go on. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? More than likely. Nothing is impossible, but I'd say so. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. Oh, thanks. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Uh, Discovery is never that simple, though. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I do love the word, generously. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Sweet. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Well, I am a courier. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. I do try to be. Every now and then. Huh. This sounds like a noble task. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah... Involving Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. Oh, I expected as much. There were a lot much. of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Oh, shit. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Um, no. Maybe it was on the release papers. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed... Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Alright, I'll find her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. I have some questions. Of course. Anything. What else can you tell me about Keeley? Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Um, exactly how old is Keeley? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. What? So, I'm guessing pretty old. Two hundred years? Maybe more. Fucking Jesus. How did... Keely and Hildengale on them. Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keely because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. 
In front of important people, usually. So, what do you do here, then? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. So, what do you think, Hilden? The director? He's... very well-spoken, and... knowledgeable. And... a bit of a cold bastard. He's not what you'd call... warm. Unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. So, Hilden takes credit for your work? He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. He mentioned the followers of the apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildren trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. Alright. Boone, will you stop staring at me like that? It's freaking creepy. Christ, sorry about him. Um, anyway, I hear the food here is pretty bad. It's foul, to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Alright, I'll see ya. Right. Stay safe. Yeah, boom. Stop it. You're creeping people out. Jesus. I can't take you anywhere. Never mind. Right, so, um... Vault 22, whereabouts is it on the map? What? Oh, okay, so we don't actually know where. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's miles away. Crying. Jesus. Alright, we'll figure it out in a minute. Come along, chaps. Can't take that long, can it? Okay, but first, back to the Crimson Caravan Company. We have to complete our mission.